This short tutorial is designed to expand upon our discussion about ASCII and bits. What we need to do is be able to determine a number from a bit stream or represent a number as a bit stream. So consider these 8 bits in our top row here. This makes up a byte. Our left hand bit we will call our least significant bit and our rightmost bit we will call our most significant bit. Why are they least significant bit and most significant bit? I'm glad you asked. Let's put a 1 in our least significant bit. Now let's start doubling each bit. So our least significant bit has a value 1 and our most significant bit has a value 128. We've chosen the left hand side of our bit string or byte to represent our least significant bit. We could have chosen just as easily the left hand side. And how that's actually represented in a computer will depend greatly on the manufacturer of the computer. OK, so we want to represent the number 9. So 9 requires an 8 plus a 1 to give us the number 9. So our bit string to represent the number 9 would look like this. And the number 9 is a tab character in our ASCII character set. Remembering also that we only have 7 bits to play with in ASCII as our most significant bit is always set to zero, or the eighth bit. So given only seven bits, the most we can represent in terms of characters is one plus two plus four plus eight plus sixteen plus thirty two plus sixty four, which is one hundred and twenty seven. Let's try another one. Say we wanted to represent the number forty one. Well that would require a thirty two an 8 and a 1. Set all the other bits to 0 and that's our number 41 or character a right parenthesis. So you can have a lot of fun playing with bits and I hope you found this tutorial short tutorial useful and we will talk again shortly. Enjoy.